What's up, Eagles Truth here with you. Uh, just got to work and uh, figured I'd make a video. I wanted to make a video after the Bears game. Even though we won, I was heated. I was pissed. I was fuming. I actually made a video. Didn't upload it. Wanted to make a video after last week against the Cowboys. Didn't make the video. Here I am again, recording a video, and I swear to God, I'm going to get off my ass and fucking upload this shit, because I'm so freaking done. And look, I'm a nobody here on YouTube. I don't, I'm not active enough. I'm not. But damn it, please, 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 I want the Eagles to see this video. They probably never will, but if there's some hope in God, I want them to see this video, because I'm going to speak for all of you Eagles fans, or at least most of you. <clears throat> These coaches are the dumbest morons in the fucking league. The dumb Cowboys, you get upset with um with 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 your head coach, with Mike McCarthy. <laughs> you know, you get you get upset. No, trust me. Trust me. We have you beat in stupidity by a mile. Nick Sirianni is a fucking moron. He's a bitch boy. Freaking beat the Colts one by one point, and you're sitting there like, uh, that's for Frank Wright. Uh, you're a front runner. You talk all that shit after the fact. <coughs> Other victories, you're up and down the sideline. Like, uh, I hated it then. Even in wins, I hated it. I hated it. Shut the fuck up. No one takes you seriously. You're spending so much time with gamesmanship. Oh, you're not, he actually, you know, telling reporters and everything, you know, we don't want you to talk about Jack, Jack Driscoll on the, on the, on the side and everything, blah, blah, blah. But hey, you can get us, you can get closer to Jalen Hurts than you ever did. Take all that video. Look at him throwing. We, we, you know, we want the, the Saints to think he's playing, blah, blah. Shut the fuck up and just game plan. All the stupid gamesmanship bullshit. Fuck you. You go against the Bears. Yes, the Bears. I'm going back two weeks. You... The Bears' passing defense, not that bad. Their running defense, statistically, bad. Then, it's a bitterly cold day. Windy. All of that should just... Should just... Yeah, yeah. Should just suggest what? I can't even talk. I'm so mad. All, all that I just said should just, I can't, should suggest what? Run the fucking ball. But no, nah. no, nah, the only time you want to run the ball is running your quarterback 17 motherfucking times. And you want to sit there and say, well, a lot of that's on Jalen Hurts. He kept the ball because the Bears are making him keep the fucking ball. How about, how about act like doing a regular handoff? Do you know what that are? You know what that is? We've been playing over 100 years of professional football. Do you know what an actual handoff is? I'm just curious. Do you know what that is? How about do that? How about do that? Nah. Well, guess what? You got your fucking quarterback injured. That's on you, Nick Sirianni. That's on you, Shane. That's on you. Minshew comes in. <laughs> I didn't think we had a, a shot in hell to beat the Cowboys. I know what Gardner Minshew is. Um, everybody's sitting there saying, like, he's one of the best 32 teams. No, no, he's not. No, he's not. He's not. I knew exactly what he was. I gave us no shot. I actually thought we were going to get blown out against the Cowboys. So, honestly, if you're a Cowboys fan, the fact that Gardner Minshew did that to you is... Ugh. And then after the game, I sat there and told myself, you know, we, he probably only did that good because there wasn't much game film on him in this offense. What, they had like one game to look at? Two, maybe? Uh, you know, they, they didn't have really any games to look at. So a lot of it was kind of a surprise. I knew he was not going to duplicate that against the Saints because now there's game plan on him this year in this offense with everybody. So now it's not necessarily a surprise anymore. Very similar thing. The Saints, I think, are like second in pass defense or, or damn close to that. I'm not exactly sure the stats, but they're damn good in pass defense. Run defense, they were like in the 20s. 
Lane Johnson's out, so you have a new right tackle. And you have a backup quarterback. You come out, pass, 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 pass. Miles Sanders got two. Two runs for nine yards in the first half. That's 4.5 yards a carry. That's not good enough. And then when they actually did run in the second half, you saw, we were destroying them with the run. Do you, like, I'm curious to know how much we were averaging just running the ball. It was like we were getting like five plus yards a carry. That soft zone shit with the defense was pissing me off. I, and he waits until halftime to make adjustments. Jonathan Gannon, you're a fucking moron too. But at the end of the day, he gave up 13 points. So at the end of the day, I blame the offense. I blame Gardner Minshew and I blame the coaches. Probably the coaches more. Guys, these are professional NFL coaches. And they're dumber than we are at the game of football. It's like if, if it's a surgeon, right? A surgeon. You would expect him to be better at surgeries than the every man, everyday layman, right? I think the everyday layman football fan would be better at calling plays than Shane Steichen. Or at least game planning. You want to bring in advisors? Bring in someone who's like, hey guys, don't try to outsmart yourselves. So now what? The Giants, with, are they going to rest their stars? Are they not? Blah, blah, blah. The smart thing for them to do is to rest their stars. We're going to have the stars play a half. That's the smart thing to do. But division rival, you want to fuck them up? You want to, you know, pay us back for a couple years ago? They can play their starters the whole game. Who fucking knows? And I can tell you what's going to happen. Jalen Hurts will play week 17 or week 18. Excuse me. He'll play next week. And Nick Sirianni will make it a point. Let's show the league how good you are, Jalen. Pass, 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 pass. Watch! That's what's going to happen! That's what's going to happen! I got to get to work. Fucking morons. Fuck you, Sirianni.